There are times where we have to resize complex objects at design time. Let's take a look at some of those options in Jaspersoft Studio. Let's take a look at the report I have on screen. We have a little title which contains an image and a few different text fields. In previous versions of the product, if I wanted to resize that title, I would have to resize each individual object and then possibly rearrange them so that it looks better in that bigger size. With this release, objects like frames and uh, boxes and bands, you can put different items into them and then when they get resized, they'll be resized relative to some parameters that you entered. So now if we preview, you'll see that the image has resized, um, this ha the placement of these objects makes sense in relative sense to each other. So if we look at how that feature works, we can look into the frame and you can see that the appearance of a frame and a few different other items within the product uh, has different layouts. And what's new here is this grid layout. The grid layout, when I select it, um, it's going to allow me to add some options to each one of the objects. So I've got an image here and we can see that we have a relative row number, relative column number. Uh, we span two rows. So these are rows, one row, two rows. Um, if we wanted to, for example, just have it on one row, we would select one and you can see how it has resized itself. And also there's weights. So how big do I want this to be? If I want my, my, um, my logo to be, let's say, a little bit weightier than the rest, then maybe I would make it 1.5 and leave the other ones below 1. So that all works relative. You, you come up with your own um, system for doing that and it'll make them bigger or smaller for you. The table element is used to make interactive tables such as the one that I'm showing here. Interactivity means that we can sort on a column or hide it or formatting at runtime by the end user. But what if we need to resize these types of tables? Previously in the product, if we wanted to resize a specific field, and we'll go ahead and go into the table. So if we want to highlight a, a particular column, we'll go to Table, Detail, and we'll look at Column 1. Column 1 I'd like to make a little bit smaller. So I can now just drag it over, and it'll make it smaller for me, taking space um, and, and it sort of leaves that space open for me. But at least I don't have to go into the text field. It would change everything for me automatically. The next thing I want to show is what happens if I resize this entire table. What if I wanted to fill the width of my report? You see that there's a lot of space left over. In this new version of the product, if we go into the table properties over here on the right, we can click this button called Fit Columns to Table Element. And you'll see that they've now expanded to fill the space, which will now allow me to fill the entire report. Thanks a lot for watching our video. For more like it, please subscribe to the TIPCO Jaspersoft YouTube channel.